Most early morning news conferences have a way of attracting very small crowds. Somehow, for some reason, Playboy didn't have that problem this morning. Maybe it was a croissant, or maybe the coffee. Now, this hotel is famous for stuff like that. Or maybe, just maybe, it was a fact that the news release promised bunnies would be here. No, not these kinds of bunnies. These kinds of bunnies. Heck, even Jimmy Carter has a tough time attracting this many cameras these days. But it was really appropriate they would have scantily clad women at this news conference. After all, what they're showing off is their new pay cable TV service, which features, what else? Scantily clad women. The captivating, award-winning quality that has made Playboy the most successful magazine of its kind in the world will make the Playboy Channel the most exciting service on cable television when the most talked-about publication in history comes alive. Andy looks fabulous. We've been accused, obviously, of exploiting women, exploiting sex. I think Playboy exploits sex like Sports Illustrated exploits sports. Boy, is that ever an understatement. Well, I can assure you that there will be no X-rated material. Um, that the, as I've said in the press conference, that the style and grace of the magazine will be represented on television. Uh, there will be taste and restraint in everything we put on, and hopefully a lot of both. Playboy doesn't have a deal yet to show its new R-rated programming on Atlanta cable, but you'd only get it in your home if you're willing to pay extra. The Playboy Network will combine with another R-rated one, Escapade, starting this fall. Now, my 6 o'clock producer, Tom Moo, wanted me to do this stand-up clothes wearing a pair of bunny ears. He said he'd give me a dollar if I did, but really, if you had a choice between bunny ears for a dollar or this for free, which one would you do? What are you trying to do, Tom? Destroy my credibility? What's your name? April. April. Oh, Gary Reeves, Action News. <laughs>